Brad, this game looks like a fancy menu. I was going to say, this is one of this might be the most elegant title screen yeah. I've seen in years. I feel like I'm, I'm going to order some kind of food that I'm not going to like this, uh, uh, when, I, when I see <laughs> and, this. And the, and the portions are going to be extremely small. Yes, extremely small. This, this but, game, but very delicate and classy looking. This game looks like it is set on a white tablecloth. Yeah. Uh, this is Fractal. Okay. It's a PC game, and it's now available. It's a, it's a puzzle game. I'm just going to go... I'm just gonna go, man. Uh, th some of the, the stuff on Steam makes it almost sound like it is a, a rhythm game, like they talk about the music a little bit. But from what I've played so far, that's that's really not the case. So um, you see, I can kind of push around the edge, go to any empty spot here, and create a push. See, I have the, a number uh -huh. of pushes down here. Um, that's a push budget, and that's a push right there. Okay, so, so they, they do run out. Yes, it's not like a par or something. Right, you no, have, they, you they run have, out and you'll lose. You, you, you need to, to so you need to hit this number down here. Uh, before time expires. This is kind of the tutorial section, so it's, you know, uh, significantly easier. So you kind of see, if I push them out into the edges here, they, they go away. Um, so you really only fill this middle area. So... Are th those are achievement progress indicators? Uh, I, I don't it's popping up there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that necessarily. I, like, if this is, is tying to Steam if, achievements more than just like going to let you know what's some kind of milestone thing. Yeah. Uh, the point is, if this is timed, it seems kind of. It's it's not. It seems. Oh, wait. I thought you said it was timed. No, there's a separate mode that is. Oh, that is okay. Timed. I was going to say, um, and popping notices over the action if you have to do yeah. things on a on a timer is. So this is what the game really looks like idea. after that tutorial okay. area, and you see we have 160 points to get. We have 24 pushes to go. And we've just got to make some clusters. And you see it start kind of comboing as it fills up. Cascading blooms. I was led to believe the subtitle of this game is Make Blooms Not War. Uh, yeah, it's, it says it on Steam, but that's not it's anywhere not, in the game. Yeah, yeah, I don't see so, that in here anywhere. Yeah. So you want to use your pushes wisely to try and, you know, fill the space efficiently. Yeah. And every time you make any kind of cluster, uh, a, a bloom here, it'll it'll burst out and go into your points area here. So it's really just a matter of making sure you get what you need to get before you run out of pushes. Which uh, in this early going here is not uh, especially difficult to do. Yeah, you are you are. And as you it. as you start to run out of pushes here, you see it's kind of. Music slows down a little bit. Push it, Jeff. Oh man. Push it real good. Have I, have I got into this like locked? Am I in this bad spot? Are you boned? Yeah. I'm, oh no. I have no no. Oh oh. oh. You know what? I I can push on the outside. I forgot that I can push on the outside. But before you do that, you should share on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no thanks. Yeah. Uh, so that's the the proper solution would have been to push anywhere on the outside edge, which uh -huh. I. Stupidly forgot. How could you? I know. Duh. Man. So you have to clear every single piece? No, I just need to get or? 160 okay. uh, to win. Got it. I'm not gonna lie, having me come in here and record this with you directly after lunch. You just kinda wanna could be dangerous. That's why I had them leave the lights on my, for this one. My head, I don't want you I don't want you falling asleep. My head is lolling back. This is fairly uh it's fairly relaxing. Yeah, I don't I don't know where any of the rhythm stuff would come from in the yeah, descriptions there, of this there game. There really isn't much of that. <laughs> unless unless just having music is enough to qualify right. you as a rhythm action game now. Have you seen any of the power-ups yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. um, but it eventually does start throwing multiple colors at you. So, you know, you can only match like-minded colors. Yeah. This game is... I was about to say, if these things were colored, it would look an awful lot like Hexic. Yeah, but you're not rotating yeah, like you are yeah, in Hexic. I'm not, I mean, it, it's not, it's, I'm not uh, saying it plays the same, yeah. necessarily, but... Push wisely. 
I, you know, so far I've just kind of been pushing uh, very recklessly through these first few levels. <laughs> yeah. And up until Whoa. the point where you get, uh, yeah, oh, so that's that me. Neat. That's me winning. That was super neat. Um, up until the point where they start throwing multiple colors at you, which is like, if not this level, the one after that, uh, you can sort of just mash it out. That's usually what I try to do. Yeah. This this looks super slick. Just everything about like the motion graphics and stuff. Yeah. The menus. There's your there's your make blooms not That's, war uh -huh. notice over here. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, some really nice like kind of graphic design stuff in this. Seems like it could be adapted to uh, a controller pretty well. I believe it does have uh, some sort of gamepad yeah. support if you, if you, if you, if you want to go that route. totally seems like a, a PSN XBLA release waiting to happen. Definitely, It's definitely got the, the level of polish. Yeah. Put it out there. Give it to the masses. Yeah. So this is this will be cutting it kind of close, I think. Well, now that I'm comboing like crazy, maybe was, it won't be so close after all. That, but. Was, that was a hell of a combo. But I only have three pushes left. You see, kind of, you know, it dims yeah. a little bit. Music kind of slows down. Yeah, they're letting you know. Ooh, blurst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nope. man. didn't make it. Anyway, so oh, multiple modes. Yeah. Um, campaign, you kind of go through, you know, all these different levels here, and, yeah. and it gets, you know, harder. Arcade mode. Um, this is where time kind of gets into it. So if you want. Uh, you know, speed. Uh, it'll just be one color, but you know, you get these kind of. So yeah, I'm, I'm earning more time as I, oh, as I cool. bust up uh, clusters. Just the ones with the little clock things, or yeah, probably. It's a lightning bolt. Zap! Whoa, masterful indeed. Man, that was cool. They start getting a bunch of power ups in here. That oh, I, there's even a counter down there that tells you when your next power up is coming. Yeah. This could get pretty neat if uh, there's a bunch of different effects going on. Yeah. Wow. Man, this is slick. Yeah, pretty likable yeah. thing. Yeah. It's a, uh, you know. Trifle. Low impact it's on a... these settings. I mean, it can definitely, yeah. like, uh, you know, it definitely gets more difficult. Um, but that's, I don't know. I don't know that I necessarily want it to get that much more difficult. Like that, there's that kind of bejeweled thing of just like, eh, it's, you know, it's, you can just kind of click on like, stuff. This like, is kind of forever. Like, and this it's is cool. You, this is you sitting down after work, like perhaps beer in hand. You just want to chill out for a little bit. Yeah, this seems like a good game for that. In fact, I might play some of this when I get home. Yeah. Out of time. Oh, arcading, arcading over. over. That's great. You died. Uh, so we also have uh, agility and confidence, confidence here. Confidence. That's really good. Two push colors. Oh, huh. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. I mean, you two do have the kind of different. I said two push color colors and two playable colors. Yeah. I'm not sure what the distinction is there. I'm not sure what what push colors really mean in in mm -hmm. the con. Oh. Was it because I can only? Oh no, never mind. Whoa, arcading over. Wow. See, it's just kind of fumbled around in that mode. We got puzzle mode. I'm not actually sure what this extra. I have a pretty good idea what this probably is, but yeah, create one bloom. So we have our objective up here. We have a number of pushes, and there you go. Wow, I vanquished that puzzle. That was, you defeated. <laughs> That's a great term. Yeah, to use there. Oh man. Okay. So I have 20 pushes to make. Five blooms. That one I can make. Uh, is there any way to hmm. do this in one? But maybe not. Not the most efficient oh. way I could have gone about doing that. Yeah. But I did it. Still vanquished. Still totally vanquished that puzzle. Uh, so I need to clear the board, and I only have 10 pushes to do it. 
Jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh. Nope. Seems, like, seems like you get all three of them at once, but. Is that just your number of pushes on that bar down there in the middle? Or is that something else? Yeah. Because your number yeah, of pushes is be. in the lower right, but also uh, weird. It's, it's, they just, just put it in both spots. Representing it twice. Arg. Man. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I have not vanquished no, the puzzle. No, certainly not. And then it just prompts you to restart. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty... I think those are, are those, uh, some of those are like mathematicians on the side. I know. Uh, yeah, Mandelbrot. Yeah, Mandelbro and, is you know. definitely in. I'm, I'm sure they all are probably. Ha <laughs> <laughs> my Mandelbros. <laughs> Wah ha Fractals are everywhere, man. Tell me more about fractals. From, from the very big all the way down to the very small. Yeah. Everywhere you look, you will see fractals. It's heavy. Always be fractals. All right. Well, Frac I'll always be fractals then. Fractals are for closers, Jeff. Oh, it's saying I don't deserve the fractals here after after failing to vanquish that puzzle. I don't know. It's it's pretty relaxing. Yeah, this is this is neat. It's I, pretty cool. I'm gonna try this. Yeah. I hope I hope to see this come out on the consoles too because it seems it seems well suited for that. Uh, yeah, I, I bet it would work. I mean, I, the, you know, the, the mouse works it's, it's very like, well. Mouse, for, would, mouse looks like the best way to play this. Yeah. But, you know, it seems um, like but yeah, they could certainly adapt it for, something, for something just that, about anything. Something that could be available to everybody, but then again, it looks so uh, it looks so low impact that probably most any PC could run this at this point. Yeah, I mean, it does have graphical graphical options when you load it up. Like, if you want normal or beautiful or fast, you know, they've, they've got oh. a lot of settings for what is not a... A very high impact game, I think. But sure. uh, you know, do you know what the what's the price point on this? Oh, geez, you know, I don't know. Um, uh, I bet you could pop up the Steam overlay. We could find out real quick. What is that? Shift tab. Yeah, that's what I've taken to doing. And if you hit, I think there's a way to get straight to the store page for this, or no? Mm. Oh, it doesn't look like. Oh, so this is not a Steamworks game. It looks like because there's no. Yeah. No achievements there. Hmm. Sadly. Yeah. Uh, you'd probably have to navigate through some stuff. View all news and then go to the store uh, page from there. Yeah, if you hit. Oh wait, that is the news for this game, so you might be able to yeah. hit, hit like. Uh, Steam overlay is pretty cool for just using. Like, if you want to pull up a. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Great. If you want to pull up a. Uh, like a fac or something while you're playing a game. Right. Pretty neat. Yeah. For, for that stuff. Two color uh, mode activated. Nice. Very nice. Then we get these colors. As well as these other colors. And that's Fractal, Brad. Yeah, sure is. Yeah, you should check it out. It's, uh, it seems pretty cool. Yep. Real relaxing, man. Wow.